Hello everybody, this is the one and only Mr. LP, and I am here out in the streets of Richmond, Virginia for the rules, and we're talking about knowing your boo, and I had the wonderful... Carla! Hey Carla, how you doing today? Fine, thank you. All right now, Miss Carla, do you know your boo? I do. How do you know your boo? I know my. I know what he likes. I know his dislikes. We know how to stay at each other's way, and we have a strong communication system. All right, now that's what we have. But what do you know about your boo that makes sure you don't get played in a relationship? Well, I, like I said, I know his likes and his dislikes. I know what he wants. So what else am I supposed to know? Well, let me ask you this. Does he know what he wants physically? Does he know what, when he's mad? Do you know any, how he reacts? Do you know how? Yes, I do. Yep. I can, I can read his face and the way he acts, you know. Oh, and do you read or you do you tell him what to say? I don't tell him what to say. <laughs> I absolutely do not tell him what to what say. say. Okay, so if he speaks his mind and he says, Carla, I don't like it this way, I don't like whatever, you're going to listen and you're going to buy by that. I absolutely will respect that, yes. Okay. Now, does your boo know you? Absolutely. How long you and your boo been together? 14 years. Oh, my. Then very 14 years. So a long time now that you're 32. Yep. <laughs> Try 50. <laughs> Try 50. 50 years old. Okay. All right. So are you and your boo tied to not? No. Okay. When is that, when is that happening? I don't know yet. We're taking our time. 14 years. That's okay. Okay. That's okay. Now, tomorrow, I, I, Ron Osley took a long time, too. That's true. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Miss Carla, and thank you for listening to us for the rules. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Hello, everybody. This is the one and only Mr. LP, and I am corresponding for the Rules TV show here in Virginia, and I'm here in Richmond area, and I have Mr. Pierre. Pierre, how you doing today? I'm good. All right. Now, I have a question for you. Do you know your list, your list of your requirements that you need to have in order to have a good, positive relationship so you don't get played? Well, that is a good question. Uh... First and foremost, you want to uh, be able to have someone that you are harmoniously intertwined with. Okay. And how do we do that? Well, uh, that's on your list of things. When you have a five, ten things, that's that's on your number one list. Absolutely, but it, it takes a while before you get to know someone. Right. I mean, you uh, it usually takes a year and better before you get to know someone. Uh, I had the terrible mistake of rushing into relationships in the past. And that turned out to be a nightmare. So now, first of all, they uh, have to be spiritually in harmony with me. Mm -hmm. That's number one, because uh, then we're on the same page. Okay. Uh, they have to have a uh, good sense of humor. Good sense of humor is always good. Uh, they have to have economic skills. Uh, got ec they got to save some money. They have to be able to have some economic skills. Um, so money is on the list, too. Absolutely. <laughs> also, uh, uh, I, I love uh, a mate that is extremely clean. Cleanliness is absolutely part of it. All right. So we need to have, have spiritually happy, have some money. They got to be clean, be able to budget. Absolutely. And uh, like I said, they have to have a sense of humor. Uh, I mean, not to say that we make light of things and all things, but... Uh, having a sense of humor helps to take the edge off of uh, the things that life has a tendency to stress us out. Life does. It's going to keep you going and things of that. And what's that final thing on your list of must-haves to say, knowing your list before you jump out there? <sighs> wow. She has to... Look good. Well, she has to look good, but she... <laughs> <laughs> but she has, to she has to have more than just a mild sense of intelligence. Okay. Because that helps a lot. What do you like in a woman on the list of things of a body? What is your must sayings that you have to have? The complete package. <laughs> do you like a tall, short, thick, small, whatever you like? I like her kind of short with the complete package. With the complete package, okay. We're going to leave that definition up alone for right now. <laughs> but thank you very much, Mr. Beer. Thank you, sir. Thank you for the rules. Thank we'll you. see you soon. Hello everybody, this is the one and only Mr. L.P. Steven Sykes and I'm here out and about in Richmond, Virginia for the rules and I have the lovely Renee Dixon. Renee, how are you doing today? Fine, and you? Doing great. Now I have a couple of questions for you about the rules. Okay. Alright, one of them I'm going to ask you is how do you protect the cookie jar and everything? 
this being the cookie jar. Well, well, whatever. Hey, it could be that could be the cookie jar. <laughs> that could be here and everything or else. Here, but or here. here, but you know. So okay. for the sake of argument, for those who don't know, how do you protect the cookie jar down there? Um, I right now mm -hmm. protecting it is not doing anything at all. That's how I protect okay. it. Okay, okay, you just close the shop, but like, okay, <laughs> but like, how do you? But that's not just shutting it down doesn't necessarily protecting it mm -hmm. and everything. Like, okay, I'm a guy. I'm okay. saying hi. How you doing? Everything else. Got gotcha. you. So it goes from here to here. Then. Uh, okay. All, all right. right. Um. I just, you can't just approach me with just no bull crap about like, oh, hey, sexy, how you doing? That kind of bull crap line don't work. Okay. You got to come with some real conversation, mm -hmm. something meaningful, um, not just um, what you do, what you do last night, blase, mm -hmm. blase. Okay. Um, then we got to get to know each other. You're not getting in this cookie jar. You got to get to here. And 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 here. See some before you they can gotta, get to here. See some think they gotta go here, here before here no. go reverse. Mm -hmm. No, it goes it goes down like mm -hmm. this. It goes like, down yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, you went down kind of smoothly <laughs> like that. We are gonna get to that and everything. Yeah. So like when you say meaningful conversation, give me meaningful conversation. Do you mean socially, politically, your life? That's right. All yes, all all that. Yes. So what type of things turn you on? Yeah, we all know about a dumb conversation, but what kind of conversation I need to know? Because I'm a guy, I'm going to sit here and be like, yo, I'm going to get that. So what kind of conversation oh, I need to Oh, definitely not that. Because some come with just that off topic. Exactly. That is just straight. No, but what, what conversation okay. that you need to hear from a man to get to that? Um... You have to know what's going on in the, in the world. Mm -hmm. I, I like somebody with, with a brain. I ain't one on looks. I'm not one on the the body being all buffed up or nothing like that. You okay. can have you can. I like the bellies. I I, I love a, a okay. thick man. All right. You know all what right. I'm saying. All right. So all right. All right. I don't gotta lose no weight then. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> none of that is attractive to me. It's what's up here, which you can you can stimulate my mind with mm -hmm. stuff that's going on in the world, or you have something that's going on. You know, a little something going on with yourself. You don't have to have a lot of money. That's okay. not me. All right. By far. You gotta have some money. Um, yeah, yeah, you do. But say for instance, okay, let's get on that. Okay, okay. Is, is, is the money does that money affect the cookie jar for you? No, it okay. don't. It don't. Because say me and you are in a relationship, and you couldn't bring anything to the table for certain reasons beyond okay. your control. I'm good. Long as you can still stimulate this and then continue to go down, and you then you take care of that. Mm -hmm. We good. We good. We so good. So the man can stay broke as long as he's not going to have to park in any cookie jar. And we on the same page. <laughs> okay. In all honesty, yes. Okay. And we on the same page. And the main thing is spiritually. That's me. I'm sorry. Okay. Spiritually. All right. Yes. I'm sorry. Yeah. Because okay. if I had to take care of my man, I would. Some women don't see it that way. Mm -hmm. Some women look to be just taken care of. Mm -hmm. Now, if we can work together, that's a, that's a bonus. Hey. But if you couldn't, for some reason, beyond your control, fine with me. As long as you work it together in some form. Some right. Way. I mean, if I had to go out there and make the bread and you stay at home and you cooked and cleaned the house and then you took care of this when mm -hmm. I got home, we good. Okay. Not a problem. Now, I've got another question for you for the rules. Mm -hmm. Do you know your baggage? Now, everybody. Yeah. Okay. I what do. Is, I had to learn that. Uh, I had to learn that in the last couple of years. Okay. Now, why? You being a young woman, so not that long here on this earth, why did it take you a couple of years they learn your baggage versus I'm gonna tell you a lot of times I really thought you know people don't really see their own stuff they mm -hmm. oh it's nothing wrong with me oh I'm perfect you know no uh uh it's you it's not me mm -hmm. and the the last um sort of long relationship I was in taught me that I have issues that other people might not okay so what is your baggage um, all right some might not see this is one thing is I'm I'm really 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 extremely uh compulsive neat freak okay like um you can't like for instance the dish detergent that sits on the the um the counter in the kitchen if it was his mine is not in the regular dish detergent bottle for one thing mm -hmm. but if it was it can't be crooked it got to be straight okay this so you're super, ocd yeah super this issues and a lot of people can't deal with that so if i happen to drop my t-shirt next to the hamper or things like that. And you purchase. made a mistake. That's a good example. Let me tell you, because that was one of the issues, and it was a mistake. I'd be like, "Why did you do?" It? Instead of just picking it up myself and putting it in there, I made it a big issue. Okay. 
Okay. You know, and that can ruin a relationship. Mm. And and I and, and, say that again one more time for all the men that's out there listening. <laughs> you make it a big issue can ruin a relationship. Yes, okay. and then um, me thinking I was right about everything. I'm not right about everything, and everybody not going to see everything the way I see it. Mm-hmm. And I had to learn that. And I had That's to learn. O- it's okay not to have everything. Right. Yeah. And then not be so clingy. We can, women can be too doggone clingy. Where you at? Which, you know, we, if a man going to do something, he going to do it regardless. Okay. So the, I, it, it was a lot of things I had to see about myself. And, it, and what it was, it took me being by myself for a while to see those things. Mm-hmm. So if I find, if the right person comes along, I'm not looking. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to let God lead him to me. Okay. But I think I can be better in a relationship now than I was mm-hmm. before because I had to learn my own issues. Do you still now that you know them? Have you dropped that bag? Uh, are you still a bag lady? Oh no, no, they're 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 gone. They're gone. They're gone. They're gone. So you're perfect now. No, I'm not perfect. I'm far from perfect. None of us are perfect. Okay. And that's what the man has to realize and the woman have to realize. Mm-hmm. You can be in the uh, a good relationship, but it's still gonna be some ups and downs. Yeah, that's true. That it's is. always gonna be ups and downs. It's how you work through that, the ups and downs okay. that matters. Not a problem. Have you met other men that did not recognize their baggage? Hell yeah. <laughs> I mean, y'all. Uh, hey, I'm sorry. Hey. You know, hey, a lot, a lot of men don't. And I'm not going to call particular names, but I know... That's no problem. We're going to tell the truth here. <laughs> let me say this. I have... I know somebody who's married, and their mate don't never see their wrong, but they really don't see theirs either. But I'm going to tell you this. Was this Nowadays... A, was this a married person you were talking to? No. Okay. No, 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 no. Uh-uh. It's somebody in my family. Okay. I told that person, if that man ain't going out there cheating on you, if he coming home every night to you and loving on you and ain't beating on you and, and, and disrespecting you verbally, you better hold on to that little bit of just because he don't see eye to eye with you all the dog on time. You better hold on to that man. You know, for real. I understand. I understand. Let me ask you this since we got you over here. Do you know your role? I do. Uh, do. Do you know your role? Do you want to submit? Do you want him to submit you? Do you know your role and understanding you so you don't get played? I'm 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 a very I'm very submissive. I think sometimes I I do too much. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Too much catering. Is it, is it, is is it, I believe it's always okay as long as it's to the right person. Right. Okay. And 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 I I think I've been chasing the wrong the wrong people or I haven't been letting God lead them to me. I just been out there searching myself. Okay. Not a problem. Faith without we can't have faith without works. Right. So you put are you putting yourself in the right position? Are you going out to uh you mentioned spiritual are you going out to uh good spiritual functions, church or community events? Are you uh, going out to I'm in church almost every day now. I had I really had stopped going mm-hmm. for a, a while okay. this past November. I got back into church and I'm deep in it in okay, now. Not deep a in it. Um in Bible study, Sunday school, at church every Sunday. Matter of fact, this whole calendar, this this whole month of May, I have to be in church twenty one days out of the Okay. <laughs> now, now And the, and it's not just about going, it's what you take it take in. Take it in and what you also giving back. What you giving back, right. And so I'm gonna let God work on me. And continue to do what I gotta do to help his kingdom and let him bring that man to Does me. Does that man have to go to church with you? To date you? If the say man walks over here, I says, want that I'm now. dating you. I, I do. I want that now. What if he works at night? What if he works a couple of jobs? What if he owns a business he's putting in, but he could come? If we can go home and pray together, yeah, because sometimes you can't go to church d- every day. depending on your job. Right, every day. But, but like, if we can pray together, and and he pick up his and he pick up his Bible in between that, and he and he understands that I'm committed to God and, and we respect that. Yes, then we're good. I don't want nobody no more that's not going in the same direction with God, because that means you're unevenly yoked. Okay. And it, it's not going to work. It's not going to work no matter how hard you try to make it work. It's not going to work. Okay. And just like that relationship I was telling you about. 
they they're in church together. They pray together. Even their children know how to pray. Mm, okay. And it's lasting. Mm-hmm. And I and I want that. Okay. I want that. Now I'm gonna ask you one more rule for you mm-hmm. and everything. And this is a rule that we add into the list. Do you know what you want physically? And are you willing to communicate that to that partner? Physically as far as sexually? Yes, so physically or sexually, emotionally, yes. Okay, um, do you, okay. Do you know do you know your list of things that you need to make you satisfied? Okay, let's get to the main thing that it seemed like this this little uh is about. Oh no, it's physically not. I want it all. Okay. Every kind of way possible. Mm-hmm. I like it. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm freaky as hell. There's no problem. You know what I'm saying? Yes, yeah, so yes, I want you to be a freak too. Okay. Well, are you willing to uh, coach and encourage the other person? I don't mind. Okay. As mm, long as you're willing to learn. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, now, what is it that you need to know as a list of things for that person to have in order to come to you? It's for the physical? Oh, no, physical. Not just the oh, physical. Oh, okay, because if you well, come phys- out physical. Well, physical, physical could be a, a component of it, but like, okay, do you know your list? That's a rule. Do you know your list of things besides physical? Okay, you know, that's a big important part for you. Just to be open for, to, to conversation. Okay. Because if you're not open to conversation, when situations happen mm-hmm. and you shut down and we can't talk mm-hmm. about it, sometimes you have to go off to yourself for a little while. But if, if you can come back and we can talk reasonably, I want that. And like I said, once again, the main thing is I want that person to know God. Amen. Okay. I do. I, they, they have to know God and, and want to be a person of God. How come people have so much trouble understanding that you could have that aspect of God, but also be physical and things like that? Because you mentioned you like to be freaky. Mm-hmm. But well, some people are too timid. Not everybody. But some people get like, oh, I'm too timid to do this. But they, you try to have both sides of the uh equation. For one, you're not supposed to. They, the Bible says you're not supposed to fornicate. Maybe that's the thing. You know, I really wish that... Not, not so much of, the, of those who may be not scared to fornicate. It's just the fact that they have trouble... Uh, Thinking that in. if you a child of God, you can't... Right. Even, what, uh, even, what? Even, even if you're married. Okay, let's put it this way. You ain't got to be kidding me. They, you're supposed to submit and please your man. Okay. And everything, and vice versa. Mm-hmm. Okay. What are some things you're not willing to submit of yourself to that man? I don't know if, if any. Okay. I don't. No problem. Now, what would you say that you need to have at the end of the day? He needs to know God. Mm-hmm. He needs to be clean. Uh, clean. Uh, he needs to uh, be physically uh, attractive. What type of man physically does he need to be? Tall, short, skinny, small? I don't. I don't want too short, but what's too short? Um, sh- uh, maybe five feet and above. Would you take a man that has all those different things, and he's five feet, maybe two five different. feet? Okay. Yeah, about five. Okay. Yeah. Because you're five. 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 Okay. So you would take a man that's five feet. Right. Okay. I would. You wouldn't mind, and everybody look at you, ha ha, whatever else, and you would. Still I wouldn't love them. care. Okay. Uh, I almost everybody out there, everybody like, oh, he. I don't care. I don't look for the. I don't look for all that. Uh, you gotta be. He gotta look like this. He gotta have good hair. He gotta be a, a, a too light or. No. Okay. No. Mm-hmm. Awesome, Miss Dixon. Thank you so much. Because you have a good understanding of the rules, so you don't get played. Was that the answer? Okay. Thank you very kindly. Y'all have a good day today. Bye-bye.